I was gonna cook a roast for dinner tonight. I totally forgot the kids have an open house and a concert at the school. So I think what I'm gonna try and do is throw the roast in the pressure cooker. I got one of those new Instapot electric programmable pressure cookers. So we're gonna see how that goes. What you reading, Lil? Um, I'm playing a game. You're playing a game. What game is it? I don't know. <laughs> do you know what camera daddy's vlogging with today? It's the Panasonic FZ 300. What's that thingy at the top? That's called a, a video mic or a shotgun microphone. It's a Rode video mic. Oh. It's supposed to make you sound better. We'll see if you sound better. <laughs> you got any jokes today? Um, what kind of music do rocks like? What kind of music do rocks like? I have no idea. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, all right. I have another one. Another one, okay. Which birds are the best singers? What birds are the best singers? I don't know. Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds, <laughs> nice. Get it? Because they hum. I get it. Were you outside? Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing outside? Just sitting. Just sitting? Mm-hmm. Yeah? You seem a little grumpy today. You're on the vlog. Oh, you smiled right up as soon as I told you that, didn't you? Do you got anything to tell us? No? Do you have any jokes? No? Do you have a song to sing? Mm -mm. Nothing, eh? One of those? What about, should we go get your costume thingy and put it on, show them what you're wearing? Let's do that. Is that yours right there? Mm -hmm. What song are you singing tonight? Um, so oh. Surfing USA and bake the cake. Surfing USA, is that why we're wearing like a beach thingy? Uh-huh, and then I get to take it off for bake the cake. Nice, and yours is, it looks like, what is this, an elephant? Yeah. Nice, with the big nose? Mm-hmm. Yeah, did you choose that one? Uh-huh, and look, it's sunglasses. Do you remember the, uh, the words to Surfing USA that you're singing tonight? Uh-huh. What is it? Sing it for me. Everybody had an ocean across the USA. Everybody be surfing, California, yay. See them wearing their baggies and grouchy sandals too. Bushy, bushy blonde hairdo, surfing USA. Nice, awesome job. I forget the rest of it. Oh, that's okay, we'll see it tonight, won't we? Mm, yeah. Here. Penny. Penny, you think she's gonna let me film her? <laughs> no. No? She doesn't seem to mind this camera as much. Oh, she's turning her head. She hasn't been liking pictures much lately. What do you think, Pen Pen? Hey? Oh, you're gonna run away? Nope. Okay. Run away. Look at it. Yeah. Is she gonna let you pet her? Oh, there. She, she likes a pet. Maybe if you pet her like that, she'll uh, pose for the camera. That's a pretty she big likes tongue. It right? when... Do you yeah. think bulldogs have the biggest dog tongues in the world? Probably. Yeah. It's a pretty big one, isn't it? I think it feels better with not her collar on because yeah. her, her, um... I think she's liking yeah. you petting her. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So I checked the Instapot electric pressure cooker recipes book that came with the Instapot. And check out what I found in here. Beef roast with potatoes and carrots. I'm not really going to put the potatoes in. I'm going to alter the recipe a little bit for myself. But, it says 50 to 55 minutes, and that's for a one to two kilogram beef roast. I guess you adjust the time, it says, depending on how tender you want it. I want it really tender, so I'm gonna cook it at 55 minutes. My roast is, I think, 0.98 kilograms, so it fits under the one kilogram, so that should work just fine. I'm gonna get the Instapot out and get the roast in there. A couple uh, carrots on the bottom and some uh, broth in there, too. So I got some potatoes. Carrots. What am I saying? Potatoes. I got some carrots. I love these little ceramic peelers. Let me show you this thing here. These things are awesome. If you don't have one, you should totally get one because uh, they rock. So I peeled some carrots quick there. Here you could see I just peeled them into the sink. I do that all the time. It's just easy to pull up the carrot peelings. Now we're going to fire up the Instapot here, my electric programmable pressure cooker. I'm going to put a cup or two of water in and line the bottom with these carrots. 
Carrots are in the pressure cooker, as you can see there. I just kind of laid them out on the bottom. Makes like a floor for the uh, roast, where the roast is going to sit. Now we just got to grab the uh, roast out of the fridge. And there it is right there. There's the reason that I gotta get this roast in the pressure cooker, even though I don't think I have time to eat it tonight because we gotta get to this concert for the kids and go see their teachers in their classroom. I got this on 30% off. And I forget, I think it's best before is May 5th. So what's today, May 4th or May 5th? So I'm gonna get it in the pressure cooker right now. And even if I don't eat it today, it'll be beautiful for tomorrow or the next day or the rest of the week. Uh, I'm just gonna get some water in here on the carrots and we're good to go. That's two cups of water in the pressure cooker. See if we can zoom in, you can see that there. That's uh, right above the carrot line, or right about the line of the carrots. Now we gotta put the roast in on top of the carrots. The roast is in the pressure cooker. Look at that, isn't that a thing of beauty? My mouth is watering already just thinking about delicious roast with a little bit of uh, horseradish. Oh, that's gonna be good. And a uh, little tip that I always do, I always grab one of these little baggies out of the meat department, not only to put my meat in, but then also it's great for putting the uh, the tray and the wrapping from the meat, tying it up and throwing it straight in the garbage outside in the garage so it doesn't stink up the house. Time to get the lid on the pressure cooker. Switch it over to sealed on the vent here. And then we want to go to, let's see if we got one that's closest, 30, 35, Looking for 50 or 55. Well, there's 40. Let's adjust. 55. We'll go with the 55. So there we go. We've got 55 and it is ready to go. I don't have to do anything else. It'll just uh, bring itself up to pressure. Do the automatic 50 and then it'll stay on warm. So when I get home from the concert, if I want, I could have some nice fresh hot roast beef. For the tech curious among you, I am vlogging with the FZ300 today with the Rode shotgun mic on top there. And uh, yeah, it should be much better video than say the S9900 from Nikon. Although while it's much smaller and more compact, this guy does 4K video. So we're gonna film it in 4K. And also with the uh, Rode video mic, it should sound a lot better today. Okay, so you just got ready? Yeah. Is this what you're wearing to the concert? Yeah. Plus your little costume floaty thing. Uh-huh. Look, Penny's checking it out too. There she is. She says, am I going to the concert? You think she wants to go? Yeah. Yeah? Should we take her? Mm, no, because dogs aren't allowed to the school. Well, uh, yeah, and I think a, a bulldog on the rampage in the concert might be a bit of a disaster, do you think? Uh-huh. It will probably run up on the stage. Do you think so? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Did you, did you do your hair too? Uh-huh. Oh, you did a good job. Did you put it in a pony? Yeah. Looks good. I'm going to put some lipstick on after we eat. You are? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I think you're going to look pretty. <laughs> after the roast is done and I can get the pressure cooker back, next up, I don't know if you can see that down there, we are going to make some vegetable soup. So we've got uh, diced tomatoes, we've got cauliflower, we've got some red peppers, we've got some zucchini, we've got some green uh, onions. And in the fridge, I've got broccoli, I've got uh, sweet onions, I've got garlic and celery. The garlic, celery, and let's see, garlic, celery, and sweet onions. We're going to saute those up in some uh, coconut oil. Once that's all sauteed, we'll throw it in the pot, add all the rest of the ingredients chopped up. We'll throw it in the pressure cooker for about 15 minutes, and it'll come out as a beautiful soup. And actually, this soup is very non-carby, so it's very good for keto eating, ketogenic diets, which is what I'm doing right now, and I've lost about four or five pounds in the last four days. What are you having for dinner, Ella? A shake. What's, in your, what's in your shake? It has spinach, yogurt, and bananas. Nice. It's really healthy. It is. And uh, who makes the yogurt? 
Daddy. Daddy makes his daddy's homemade yogurt. Uh huh. It's so yummy. I and they are good, aren't they? Uh huh. Yeah. Can I? Can I? Expect some yogurt. You want to show them your thingy? Yeah, come over here. I already this, showed them mine. This is my frog thingy, and we're gonna be in the library while we're waiting. So I was thinking, since we're bringing these with us, we're gonna have to be by his house. We're watching a movie. I could lie down with this. Is that what you're gonna do? Yeah, because you have armrests. You're not worried about popping it? No. No? I don't huh. think it's going to pop anyways. Daddy's thinking he should get rid of these two big white press board sheets that I have here. Why? I don't know. They're just kind of a pain sitting there. I bought them so we could take pictures of Penny when she was a pup. Backdrop and the floorboard. But uh, they're still sitting in the dining room. And I'm not sure that we still really need to be taking pictures of Penny on them. What do you think? No, she's she's getting too big. Too big. She'd jump off him, wouldn't she? Yeah. Maybe we can take pictures of you on Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, me. Oh, yeah. Just took the roast beef out. Look at that. It is looking beautiful. Lovely. What do you think how the roast beef looks, though? Good. Yeah? You... So, we got back for an assembly, and there there was cake, but there wasn't any left. There's 180 slices, but there wasn't any left. So, Daddy agreed to get, get my mom's birthday present because her birthday is um, May the 6th, which is this Friday. And so, we got her birthday present, and we also got some candy. So, I got... Um, sour neon gummy worms. Nice. What'd you get, Ella? These candy strips. Yeah, sour strips? Uh-huh. Are they good? Yeah. Do you like them? Yeah. Did you have fun at your concert? Uh-huh. What song did you sing? Um. Surfing USA? Uh -huh. By the Beach Boys, people. Nice. I want to get into this sweet piece of roast beef, so... We're going to cut the vlog right here. This is the end of vlog number two.